New this morning, a new report is out from Colorado State University on climate change and its impact on our state. Denver 7 meteorologist Steve Roldan looks at the big takeaways. Rising temperatures, large scale droughts and damaging wildfires. All evidence that Colorado State University says shows climate change is happening and impacting our state. The climate has already warmed. Dr. Becky Bollinger is Colorado's assistant climatologist and one of the authors of the CSU Climate Report. She says when it comes to temperature changes here in Colorado, the statewide average temperature rose 2.3 degrees Fahrenheit. In the period from 1980 through 2022, Bollinger says much of that increase is linked to human influences, and that significant warming will continue over the next several decades. So the warming is going to likely uh, reduce snowpack overall. We'll still have a lot of variability, so we're still going to get big years like we had last year, uh -huh. uh, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to rely on those to really uh, carry us through some of the drier years. The Colorado River, which provides water to seven states in Mexico, also predicted to see more of an impact, according to Colorado's climatologist, Dr. Russ Schumacher. Here in Colorado, our fate kind of goes winter to winter. One big snow year can make a lot of difference or a dry year hurts really bad. But in this broader system of the southwestern United States, the Colorado River Basin, um, it's these long-term trends that, that really drive things. And one good year doesn't help all that much. The report also points to more weather extremes in Colorado, like floods, droughts, and wildfires that could burn much bigger. As you are warming your fall months, you are extending that wildfire season. As you are melting snowpack earlier, you are increasing the risk of wildfires earlier in the season. And as we make our air drier, which is another trend we're seeing uh, with climate change, uh, it allows fires to grow more quickly. Dr. Bollinger says she hopes the findings help raise awareness and a call to action. Two pieces to climate change and combating climate change. And the first one is mitigation, and that's actions that are working to reduce greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere. And that's something that I've talked about before, the actions that uh, may be planned uh, at the state level, uh, the federal level, and globally. It's not all doom and gloom. There are some things we can do the climate's gonna feel a lot different, but in some ways, you know, it's still gonna be the Colorado that we know and love. For Denver 7, I'm meteorologist Steve Roldan. That report looked at projections through the year 2050 and beyond. You can read the entire thing right now on denver7.com.